Welcome to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Badass Direct Sales Mastery is a podcast for rock star direct sales moms who are determined to make their business kick ass. Jenny will share her knowledge of effective sales and recruiting techniques, tips to get what you want from your business, and will interview direct sales professionals and leaders from various companies. The interviews will give insight to how these rock stars got to where they are and where they plan to grow in the future. And now, the direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Welcome back to another episode of Badass Direct Sales Mastery. I am your host, your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger, helping you whip your business into shape. And I am so stoked. I'm not going to use the word word excited because I think I use that too much on other shows. I am totally stoked to have my guest here with me today because Christy Rafino has become, over the past six months, a pretty darn good friend of mine. And before that, I had no idea who she was. But we met on the podcaster's cruise, got to know each other better on the marketer's cruise. And so now I'm going to tell you who Christy is so you can know why is she here? Why does it matter? So Christy Rafino knows what it feels like to be weighed down by challenges that seemed impossible to overcome. And yet she did. Instead of saying, why me? She said, what's next? And allowed her mess to guide her into discovering her true life's purpose. And y'all, I'm talking purpose with a capital P. She then went on to make an even bigger impact by sharing that journey and wisdom with others to equip them to have a profitable profitable business following their life purpose as well. She started as a broke single mom and has now become a top-rated podcast host, best-selling author with 15 books, and Profitize Your Purpose coach. By the way, that is trademarked TM. Christy loves guiding entrepreneurs through her process to harness the power of story, systems, and community to build a more dynamic brand, attract more clients, and make more money. Boy, I bet y'all are like, yes. Christy, welcome to the show. Hey, Jen. I am, I'm actually stoked as well. This is fun. We're going to have a great time together. Oh my gosh. Yes, for sure. So tell us Starting with the broke single mom, how did you get from broke single mom to rocking it out in what you're doing now? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of grit, a lot of unstoppableness, and just great people. Uh, I found myself a little bit over 20 years ago um, in a situation where uh, before then I'd helped my husband build two very six or one successful business with multiple locations. Uh, But then when the marriage ended and I had to figure out my path, um, all I had was a resume that looked like all I did was work for our family business. So um, I ended up by getting out and getting um, a job where I had to network. Um, I'm an introvert, so I didn't like that part of the job, um, (laughs) but I had to to pay my bills and to keep my home. And so um, what I ended up by doing is I started a women's networking organization. Uh, mm-hmm. I did not intend to have that grow, but what happened is I created a system that worked really well. Um, and that one little chapter turned into, well, gosh, at one point we had about 40 chapters in multiple states. Um, and it was my path, my kind of like unintentional path uh, to build a business that I initially or eventually transitioned out of my job to building this organization. And, um, you know, it took a while. A lot of grit, but it was something that was rewarding. And at that time, I felt like that was my true purpose in my in my life at that more at that moment. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's dig into this purpose with a capital P thing here, because my yeah. audience has heard me talk about it in a lot of other interviews, but we haven't dug into the how do you find your purpose with a capital P, <laughs> right? Yeah. How do you how do you begin to go through that to help somebody find what what that is for them, because I'm sure the person listening right now is like, I want, do I know what my purpose is? Yeah, well, you know what? I think it's kind of like a cross between finding your purpose and having your purpose find you. Mm. Um, because sometimes, well, at least what I've seen is uh, quite often our mess has be- becomes our mission. But then we also have to look and see what do we 
What are we passionate about? Where are our skills? Who are we really excited to serve? Um, but I, I, you know, I've seen so many people play small and not really kind of go big with what they're doing and kind of play it safe. But sometimes when we are on the right path and we're on the path following our purpose, it can be kind of scary because we don't have a plan B. Um, I think a lot of times people go on a path thinking, well, I'll get to what I really want to do one of these days and thinking, okay, well, I still have that as like my fallback. But when you are on that path and you really take that step, you really, you have no more excuses. You have to make it happen. And um, I've just seen it over and over again when people do go in that route, everything just aligns with them and then things start to get easy. Um, but it, I don't know. I don't know about you, but sometimes it's easy to kind of make excuses thinking, I'll get to that. I'll start dieting tomorrow. Like I'll get <laughs> to it one of these days, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, finding your purpose is a cross between uh, your what lights you up, what your skills are, and then how life has brought you into a certain place that aligns you with who you want to help and, and your big why in the world. Yeah. No, I th- for me, that that became has become abundantly clear in working with direct sales and network marketers, right? And especially uh, the six-figure leaders that I'm working with is I know that I'm in my right place when two things happen. First of all, business insomnia, meaning I go to bed, I'm exhausted, my body's exhausted, but my brain just is like, idea, 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 idea. Like it can't stop. It can't shut up for like two or three nights. Right. I, that's what I know because every time I've been successful, it's been because I followed what was happening there because obviously that's a passion thing. My brain was like, talk about lighting up. Okay. The second thing is I get this like full body response when I know I'm talking to an ideal client, Mm, like literally I, it will start and I can feel it right now thinking about some of the conversations I've had with some of the people. It starts at the base of my skull and it's like this tingle, like this lightning going through my whole body going, Oh my God, this is my person. Like, yes. I don't know if they think that I'm their person, but I know I can help this person. And when I have that full body reaction, that's when I go, okay, I'm hearing your problem there. And I know I can help you with it. Are you open to having the conversation? Like that I know. Like that, those are the two things that have to, for me, show me my purpose, right? And show me, but that's me. I don't know about anybody else, but do you experience things like that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because what happens is, well, I mean, when we are on the right path and that right person's in front of us and we know we know that we're not just talking air like we know we can help them then we get excited because we start seeing the possibilities in the partnership Um, we see how we can support them on their journey and help them kind of you know get to their desired dream yeah oh my gosh yes okay so what are some of the ways, because you, um, I know you've worked with some of the people that I know and are currently working with some people that I know. What are some of the ways that you serve the people that you're working with? How do you, once they've figured out their purpose, now what? What, like what's, as you said in your bio, what's next? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, quite often I connect with people before they're even clear on what their purpose is. All they know is that they have a story or or they have a mission and they want to get their story out there to support their mission, attract their ideal clients, and just create loyalty with the clients they already have. And so they may think they know what they're doing, but they're not necessarily running a business. They're not necessarily maybe in alignment with what they should be doing. They're just out there trying to figure it out. And so one of the first things I do is help them figure out what their signature story is and help them share it in a way that is going to make a big impact with their audience. Um, so that way it becomes a marketing tool, a magnetic, like leveraging tool to bring people to you and just helps them build their brand, become a more powerful uh, force out there in their, in their area of expertise. 
Ah, yes. Okay. So you're helping them create marketing in the way of it. Now, obviously, the badass listener, my badass crew, as they've called themselves, cannot see you right now. This is an audio only podcast. So they can't see your background right now to know you help your clients. One of the ways that you help your clients is through books, writing yes. books, becoming a part of a book or writing their own books. Talk to me about that process because anybody who's listened to my podcast knows that my my quick story is I never had an intention of ever writing a book. And then in 2020, I was making my vision board and I heard this little voice in the back of my head that said, you're going to write a book. And I went, sit down and shut up. No, I'm not. I, I have zero desire to write a book. Well, by the end of 2020, I was contributing to a book, interestingly enough. So I am an international bestselling author. Yay. Whoop, whoop. Yay. With our friend, uh, Paul Fink. You know, Paul. Yes. Um, so my chapter was in in one of Paul's books. That's one of the things you do, but you also do help people write their own story. So tell us about the benefit of a book and how this works. And yeah, let's dig in. Yeah. Okay. So I have always been an avid reader, and but I never honestly thought I could have my own book. Um, however, somebody asked me to share my story, and that's when I understood or learned about this whole co-authored uh, deal or being in an anthology. Uh, I know we've all heard of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series, but this, when you're in a business and you're looking to leverage your story in a way that is going to position you in your area, um, what you want to do is put together your signature story. This is your 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 core message. And the value of being in a co-authored book. Now, of course, I my goal for everybody is to go on and do their own book and have the co-authored be the like the baby step into it, right? Um, but there's a lot of benefits of being in a co-authored book that you don't necessarily get with your own book. First mm. of all, your audience is huge because you've got all of these other authors hustling their book in the marketplace, getting their book out in front of, you know, who knows how many people. Um, and so just the the joint marketing efforts, the joint distribution efforts can potentially allow you, your story or you, your brand to be seen by thousands or millions of people. Um, so that's one huge benefit is just the reach that you have with a co-author book. It's also a lot easier, it's a lot faster, and it's a lot more economical to just be in a chapter than to put your whole book together. And so um, for 11 years, I've been putting together co-author books for my business, my brand, for my clients, as well as for other professionals that want to create a co-authored book for their tribe. Yeah. And so we've got a great system. We have all of the resources and the, the people that will do the various pieces of the process uh, to make the whole thing streamlined and easy. Um, I, I just know that either... If, as an expert that you want to get your story out of, out there, or as a leader of experts, both ways, it's a having a co-authored book is a really an amazing way to bring people together, to support a lot of people, and to just serve the world. Because now you've got a lot of great stories, great strategies, great resources getting out there in the marketplace that can help people with whatever it is that they need. Ah. Oh. I love that. And so I'm going to peel back the curtain here for the badass crew and say, Christy and I are actually in talks about yes. doing this, right? Because one of the things that as you and I were getting to know each other and what we what we both do, I think you had one of those full body moments because you, you, I remember I think we were standing talking at the door of my cabin because yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. you came to pick up your Curacao. Uh, oh, yes, I did. Yeah. Um, so we're standing there talking and you're like, you know, I do that. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, you do do that. Like, duh. OK. Yeah. You know, and so we've had conversations. And so we are actually putting plans in place so that my mastermind clients, my six figure leaders and network marketing are going to get a book or get a part of a book as part of being in the mastermind. Like no extra cost. Like this is fantastic. Now, yeah. I have no idea how it's going to work because I've never done this before. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about that part. We worry about that part, but it's a exactly. brilliant way for you to serve your clients and give them an extra benefit of working with you. Right. 
Exactly. And I, I think that's great because there are a lot of people in the leadership space who recognize that this is a great way for them to build their organization because then that network marketing leader can set, can now have a their entire downline once in on buying the book that their leader is a part of. It becomes a selling point. Hey, our leader is such a great leader that she's featured in this book. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, and so they can grow their team even bigger, faster through having this. And that's why I wanted to include a book as part of the Six Figure Mastermind is because I think it's, well, I, sh- I should say Seven Figure Mastermind because they're actually six figure leaders who want to get to seven figures, right? So yes. that book is is one of the ways that's a part of doing that. So for the person who's sitting there going, well, who am I to write a chapter in a book or who like... How do you work with people to to pull that story out of them? Well, I actually have a process um, to help them determine, first of all, making sure that they stay motivated. That's the biggest thing, right? Like, what is your why? And then finding the right story and then sharing it in a way that is going to make an impact. And what's even more exciting is I have been working with AI, AI, I don't know why that didn't come out, right? AI a lot lately. Um, and so I actually have a GPT that I have programmed with my seven stage framework. And so I've made the process even more easier uh, for people who want to hone in on their story and share it in a way that can be uh, impactful, right? You have to take the reader on a journey, not about what you want to share as the writer, right? that you're the hero and that you just want to share all your stuff. But what you want to do is connect with your reader so that they can see you as a solution to the problem. They can see your journey and their potential future by seeing and uh, learning from you is how you put your story together. So that's been really exciting is using AI to make everything so much easier. And my clients have been amazed how it all comes together. And, you know, they, some of the things, you know, you have to tweak and work out, but Um, I've just put it together where they go through every stage individually, and then it all flows together to have this amazing story arc. Um, And then we take all of that data because now we've already got the AI assistant knowing about your business, your story, your call to action, and then it will create a bunch of story assets. Um, Your website, your bio, your intro, all of the different assets that you need utilizing your story, um, AI will do that so much faster than if we were to do it on their own. I know. For me and my clients, as I've worked with them in the past, and we talk about all of these things that we need to do with our story, sometimes some of them never get to it. But once we put our story together, that assistant already has everything it needs to put together all of the pieces of the puzzle in just like a couple of little prompts. And so it's really cool to see how it works. Oh, my gosh. I And I didn't even know that you had all that stuff in the background. Yeah. That is yeah, freaking yeah, yeah. brilliant because, you know, One of the things that was a big selling point for me getting into Paul's book, for example, was I didn't have to do anything. Like, yes, I marketed because, hello, my book, I'm going to market. I'm going to tell everybody. And it's good for you, right? The more you market your book, the more it puts you out there, of course. Exactly. But I didn't have to do like a hard push to get to bestseller or anything because he guaranteed it. He was like, this is going to happen. I was like, all right, awesome. That's all I need to know. Like, okay, but I'll still promote. And I did. I I interviewed other people in the book. I had other people come on. Paul actually came and interviewed. No, not Paul. Drew. He's uh, another one of Paul's people at the time came on and interviewed me on my own show about the book. Right. So did all of that fun stuff. Yeah. So, yes, we definitely still promoted. But it's nice to have, like you said, the, the benefit of when you're in a book like that and you've got 15, 20, 25 other people, depending on the size of the book and how many are in there. Now, mine is much <laughs> more exclusive. 10 people in the mastermind. That's it, because I want to make sure I'm providing the best possible service and you get more. <laughs> right. Out of yeah. 10 people being in a book together. Right. Yes. So it's it, that the benefit of the nine other people who are promoting and putting you in front of their audience too, because they may not attach to that person's story, but they may attach to yours. Yo, absolutely. And so anytime somebody picks up one of our books, Mm -hmm. there's going to be at least one, if not three or four stories that's going to resonate with them. 
Yeah. So that's what I love about having these multiple authored uh, type of anthologies is because it's just create value for like I drop some off at my bookstore here and the library takes them. We've got bookstore in our community. And so it's just really neat when people read the stories. They're like, oh, this is great. I want this one. I didn't really resonate. But did you read this story? You know, it's it's just neat to be able to um, yeah. have that where we can, you know, serve people because. We learn better through stories, right? And we are inspired by other people's stories. We we get stronger by listening to other people's triumphs. And that's what I love about having these collection of inspirational stories. Yeah. No, I love that because the, the benefit of, because I, I know for me, when I'm reading, a, a story is going to be much better than a tip how to book. Oh. Right. Yeah, I, right. I freaking love the 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 story part that also weaves in the the learnings to be to be pulled from it. Right. It's yep. so awesome. Absolutely. And I know that's something that you do. Now, let's let's go into the writing your own book. Right. So mm -hmm. having your own book as opposed to an anthology or co-authored book. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so I, gosh, about eight years ago, I created a a course to help people write their book. Um, and it was great. I brought a bunch of people through it. But what I found is from all of the people that signed up and enrolled and got started, only a very few finished. Mm. Life got in the way. Their book, even though at the time they, it was a priority, it became low on that totem pole of things that they needed to get done. So. I still have that program. Um, I have still have had quite a few people that have gone through it and actually published their books. However, I do think they're a little different now because what I do is I help people put together their signature program mm. that becomes their high ticket program so they could get it out. They can start selling it. They can start making money right away. And then they take the learnings from their core program. That becomes their signature book. And so now you've got revenue. You got your your teaching modules. Um, you could even hire a ghostwriter to put it all together for you because you've got this cash flow already now. You got this high ticket programs launch, and so I found that that's a better way to get people to get their book done because they're not stuck in the cash flow problem and they're moving forward in a great priority. They're still helping people because they've got people in their core program, but I, it doesn't do any good to want a book and never finish it. So yes. this is a way to help them get it finished. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. I love it. I love it. Now, yes. purpose and books. Let's go back to purpose. <laughs> because back to purpose. Yes, back to purpose. Because the most people's purpose is not to put out a book. No. Right. right. The book is a tool that that helps them alert people what their what this person what the author's purpose is right mm -hmm. so you have to help people get started on finding that is the profitize your purpose power pack that you have so generously offered to the badass crew tell us about the power pack yeah so this is fun i actually put this together some of the trainings in this to help my current clients i saw a need and i wanted to be able to provide a solution for them and so what this is is a a, a course. So it's got a couple of videos and a, a, a workbook and an audio set. Uh, but what the goal is, to, is to really help you put all of these ideas that are swimming around in your brain and help put it together in a way so you can determine what your purpose is um, and then have it like become your core business. And so I've got, in addition to the the training modules, there is a six-figure roadmap that will show you how you can actually put your business together. There's a business checklist, and I've created an audio affirmation because I know a lot of times as a business owner, we can't work on the skill set until we figure out our mindset. And mm. so this is an affirmation track that I actually created for myself. And then I thought, well, hey, this has been so great for me. I'm going to share it with my clients and they love it. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to give it away as a freebie. Um, but what it is, it's a affirmation track that somebody recorded for me and I have it on my phone. It's my 630 alarm every morning. So instead of waking up to beep, 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 I hear this amazing, empowering affirmation track that just gets me started strong and 
powerfully and just helps me stay focused on my 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 life goals. Okay. I hope you have instructions for people to actually yes. know how to turn totally. that into their alarm because I'm sitting here totally. going, wait, what? How do you do, how do, you yes. do that? Because all yep. I know how to do are to use the the one, the sounds that come as part of my phone because yes, my phone is my alarm clock, y'all. It, it well, just makes sense. I think everybody, most of us, that's the thing, right? right? We use our phones. So you have our instructions. Phone is always with us. Yes. Yeah. There's a little little training video on how to actually then implement it. If that's what you wanted to do, is set up as set that up as an alarm on your on your phone clock. Um, but yeah, it's it's not hard. But it's just a couple little settings on your phone to bring that music in and actually have it be your wake up call every day. Love that idea. Oh my gosh, that is fan freaking tastic. Well, and the great thing is this is my affirmation track. Anybody could do this for their for themselves. Right. So I just had it recorded on fiber, or you can do your own. Like if you've got a great voice and you want to listen to your own voice starting mm -hmm. you starting you off in the morning, then do your own affirmation track. But it's just I find to be a really great mindset tool to keep me focused and to keep me moving in a great direction every single day. Oh my gosh. And that's the way to do it is really how you start your day is really a good indication of how the rest of your day is going to go, right? Absolutely. We're programming our mind right off the bat to go in the direction we want it to go. And that involves your purpose. So yeah. badass crew, I know you guys already know how to get to the Profitize Your Purpose Power Pack. You know the link is in the show notes. Now, for those of you who are listening, it's your first time listening and you're like, I don't know if I'm badass crew or not. That's okay too. The link is in the show notes. So if you don't know how to get to the show notes, grab your phone as long as you're not driving. Click on today's episode, scroll beneath Christy's gorgeous picture, and you will see right there a link that says Profitize Your Purpose Gift. And that will lead you right to the power pack where you can get the audio affirmation, some additional video courses that she's got in there, along with some other cool tools, which I am excited to go explore myself because I'm going to go figure out because I know my purpose, but I want to see what else I can learn in this because just because I know my purpose doesn't mean that I can't tweak it and make it better. So Christy, you have been so incredibly generous with your time and your brilliance with us today. Thank you for sharing this with my badass crew. Oh, well, thank you, Jeannie, for having me on the show. Of course, we had a great time. And I'm hoping that your crew uh, finds <laughs> that some of the resources I share uh, are going to be super valuable to them. Oh, I have no doubt they're going to find value in this. This is going to be great because I know that my audience, they, they're purpose-driven people. They really are. Yeah. That's that's one thing that really connects us all. So the purpose-driven people are going to be like, yes, tell me more about my purpose and how do I find more about it? And how do I do more? How do I use that to magnetize my audience to me? I'm telling y'all, get started with Christy because start with the power pack, check in to see what she's got to help you along. So Christy, you're awesome. You're fabulous. Thank you for being here and sharing your purpose with my people. Awesome. Thank you, too. You are welcome. And Badass Crew, you know how this goes. Stay tuned because there's another Badass episode on its way. Thanks for listening to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Why are you waiting to go to BadassDirectSalesMastery.com? Don't make the Dom get her whip. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with another rock star that you know in direct sales after you subscribe to the podcast so you won't miss any future episodes. You can also check out the show notes for links and any contact information mentioned in today's episode. We'll see you next time.